Team 10 out of 14. No, ah! Oh, ah! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you all have a fantastic day, Malcolm here, and welcome to a game called Dark Hotel. Now, so I just thought we'd play a little horror game today. It's called Dark Hotel. I was literally scavenging the internet for some horror game today, and this is all I could find. So, uh, yeah, guys, this is what we're working with. This is what we're going for, but it looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it's about being in a hotel, kind of like an at dead of night vibe, except obviously we're not, it's not got a realistic look. Yeah, we're just gonna hop straight in. So, you know, get your snacks, get your drinks, you know, everything, get your oh, water, water, and uh, let's go. Oh, guys, it's been a while since since I played a horror game. Oh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, already this is putting me in scary. Oh, wait, hold on. I can lean? Can I lean? Oh, I can lean. Okay. All right, so straight away, I'm getting like, yeah, like I said, guys, this is kind of giving me that dead and night vibe. Anything we can interact with? Oh, Oh, we can interact with a picture. Um, okay, so it's just a picture of some trees. Well, that's not helpful. Anything else around here? Okay, we can't go into the locked bathroom. Can we open the drawers? No? Okay. Can we open anything apart from looking at this one picture? It literally just says picture. Oh, maybe the back? No, okay. Okay, so there's literally nothing important with that picture. You know what? I remember playing at Dead of Night, and I remember having that stress on my shoulders. Hey! Okay, our main hotel door is locked as well. Okay, our footsteps are so loud right now. Yeah, I remember playing at Dead of Night, and I remember just the stress on my shoulders from playing that game. It's coming back to me. Did you hear that? I don't even know. Something just died. What? Oh. Um. Okay, I'll go into the bathroom. <laughs> Enough of that, sir. Why, why, why are we, why are we going into the bathroom? We can't see our reflection. Okay. Hey, why you made me go in the bathroom, huh? Oh, there's a light over here. Can I have these candles? Can we use these for right now? Oh. Okay. Oh! What the hell? Why are you so tall? Oh my goodness! Why are you here? Hi, scary lady. Um, reception. I don't want to alarm you, but there's a tall woman in my room. Can I get some room service, please? And she disappeared. <laughs> okay. Yo, guys. You hear that noise? It's really unsettling. <gasps> okay. Is there anything I can interact with in the bathroom? Like the toilet or something? Oh, wait. I didn't look at this. Uh, we got our blood... We got blood written with the number six. I don't know what that means, but uh, oh, oh, there's a key. How did I not know it's the key? Whoa, whoa. There's the tall lady again. Oh, she opened the door for me. What a nice woman. All right. And we're outside our hotel room. Okay, uh, we got a room up there that says 14, 10, 14. Oh, ah! Oh, ah! I feel like I just swallowed something. Like, I just- I thought I was choking on food and there's no food in my mouth. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's not head back into our room. Let's see if we can open. Okay, no, we can't. Okay. So, uh, let's take a look downstairs. See if the creepy tall woman is there. I don't even think we got an objective. I just think we're trying to figure out what's going on right now. I think the dude just came to sleep at a nice hotel. And this tall lady just won't let him. All right, we got a desk up here. We got a counter. All right, let's take a look at this monitor. Hold on, is that my room? Is th are they watching my room? <laughs> oh! Uh, what is that? Oh, that's a guy? That was my room. Look, there's a number six. Wait, no, no, that spawned there. Oh, it's a guy, not a lady. Okay. You know, guys, I'm gonna be honest here. I think my fear factor has gotten way better. I think I'm way better at dealing and comprehending with these type of games now. Like, bro, I'm not even lying, guys. I'm so much more comfortable with horror games now. I'm not exactly to the point where I just won't find anything scary, but I just feel more in my comfort zone with horror games now. I don't know why, but I do. All right, can we open any of these doors? Okay, I'm taking it. We have to go back up to our room. Uh, tall man, slender man, put number six in my room, and I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna go up there and we're gonna have a look. Damn, I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty good horror game. Though. Pretty good, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, all right, the ambience just stopped. 
What's that mean? Something behind me? No? Okay. Ooh! What is this? Why is he on the floor like that? Here, before we uh, continue, I want to see if there's any doors I can quickly open. <laughs> Why did I find that funny? Not scary. <coughs> um, excuse me, sir. You've just been dragged across my uh, floor. Slender man in here? No? Oh, wait. Shh, there's blood. Was that another guest he just dragged across the floor? I don't know, maybe. We got a number six there, and now we got another number six there. But what did the sixes mean? What's he trying to imply to us? Shut this door. Okay, no, open that back up. That is horrifying. That was way too dark. Oh, another key. Wait, I got another key. Oh, there's more blood puddles now. Oh, this door's open too. Oh my god, I thought I saw something. Okay. So Slenderman is walking around. Oh! <laughs> Yo, what were the odds of seeing someone dead on the floor and then an ambulance going past my house in real life? Where'd the body go? Okay, I think that's fine. We don't need to go into that room. Okay, so the dead guy just disappeared. Now, where'd he go? I don't know. Uh, remember guys, we still have that key, but I think that key that we just picked up a minute ago was actually to that door. And I think they like automatically open. So that doesn't matter now. Now, we have to find Slenderman and see what he done with the body. Oh guys, more can- Oh no, I hate this satanic stuff. <laughs> Why'd she do that? What the? That made me jump. Why did we just place two key? Oh my god, we just placed the two keys down and it unlocked the attic? Hey, sign me up. <laughs> I'll take that. I did not know that was gonna happen. Okay, we got a red glowing light in here, a red flare, and here's another dead body. Okay. Or multiple dead bodies. How many dead bodies are there? Okay, let's jump down. Oh, that's it? That's it? Wait, how long was that? Bro, this might be one of my shortest horror games ever. That was literally like 11 minutes. Oh, I did not expect that to be that short. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> like I said, I was scavenging for horror games for so long yesterday and the day before to try find something to upload. And yeah, this is all I could find today. But uh, if you do want me to play certain horror games, uh, like this, then you know what to do. Just comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And, uh, you know, if it's a good one and I like it, I like the look of it, then I'll play it. This is actually a pretty good horror game. Why is it so short, though? That was the shortest horror game I think I ever played in my life. But, uh, anyways, guys, I hope you have <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and turn the notification bell so you get my next upload as soon as I upload. And, uh, yeah, have a fantastic day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.